Now let us learn the addition of integers. So in the case of addition of integers, the two integers may be positive integers or the two integers may be negative integers or one integer may be positive and the other integer is negative. So in the different cases, let us learn how to add the integers. Now for this, now let us assume that if plus sign symbol denotes an integer 1 and here minus symbol denotes integer minus 1 and plus and minus together so this represents 0 now let us add two positive integers so first we will take two positive integers Now for example if you want to add 3 plus 4 so we will take 3 plus signs 1, 2, 3 and again plus 4 plus signs 1, 2, 3, 4 so then we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so 4 plus signs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So then we observe that 3 plus 4 equals to 7. Means the sum of any two positive integers is again a positive integer. Means when we add any two positive integers, we get the sum also the positive integer. And we add two negative integers. So when we add two negative integers, for example, minus two plus minus three. So here we will add two negative integers, minus two, minus three. So for representing minus negative integer, we take minus sign. So then we take minus two means minus minus two times plus again minus three means minus 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 3 times then we get 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 so we got 5 negative signs so we get minus 2 plus of minus 3 equals to minus 5 so the sum of two negative integers is again a negative integer means when we add two negative integers so we get again the negative integer now let us, let us add a positive and a negative integer. A positive integer and a negative integer. So for this we will take an example. minus 2 plus 3 so for minus 2 means we will take two negative signs minus minus plus 3 means we will take the positive signs plus 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 so then we get so minus together with plus and this minus together with plus and this again more one plus is there so when minus and plus are combined we get zero so then again here minus plus together with zero then we still get the plus sign means that is one so then here minus two plus three equals to one so then this is a case where one is negative integer and the other is positive integer. Now let us see all these cases once again. So when we add 
any two positive integers the sum still remains a positive integer so as we add the whole numbers or natural numbers we add the two integers and put the positive sign to the sum and when we add two negative integers so then we add the two numbers without considering the negative sign as we add the whole numbers and then we put the negative sign to the sum so then minus 2 plus of minus 3 is minus 5 so when we add minus 3 plus of minus 4 equals 2 so when the two negative integers are added then we will add the two numbers without considering the negative sign as 3 plus 4 7 and we put the negative sign to the sum so that is minus 7 and in the last case when a positive integer and a negative integer are added so then we have to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number without considering the sign then we take the larger number sign to the result so here 2 and 3 then 3 minus 2 is 1 and the larger number is 3 so then we take the the larger number 3 has plus sign so we take the plus symbol to the result so if for example 2 plus of minus 3 is there so then so when the positive integer and negative integer are added so then we will subtract the smaller number from the bigger number without considering the sign then we subtract 3 minus 2 1 and we take the bigger number sign to the result so that is minus sign so then it is minus 1 so if you want to add the negative number minus 5 plus 12 so then here also a negative integer and a positive integer are added then we subtract the smaller number from the bigger number so 12 minus 5 7 then we take the bigger number sign to the result so that is bigger number 12 has plus sign so we write plus 7 it is not always easy to add the two integers using the plus symbol and minus symbol and circles so then we can add any two integers using the number line so then addition of integers on the number line No. First case if two integers are positive. So if two integers are positive then how to add the integers on the number line? So if you want to add three plus four so the two integers are positive minus 1 minus 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and so on so first we start from 0 so then we go plus 3 means we will move 3 steps to the right of 0 then we reach 3 so this is 3 from 3 again we have to move 4 steps to the right so 1 2 3 4 so we do 1 so then this represents 4 so then we reach 7 so then 3 plus 4 equals to 7 now if you want to add 2 plus 4 so first we will start from 0 so then we reach we move 2 steps to the right of 0 so then this is 2 then from 2 again we will move 4 steps so then 1 2 3 4 4 steps then we reach at 6 so then 2 plus 
4 equals to 6. So when two positive integers are added, we will add the two integers on the number line by moving as many steps as given in the question. So now the second case, if two integers are negative, then how to add the integers to negative integers on the number line. Now let us take the two in negative integers minus 3 plus of minus 4. So left to 0 we will take the negative integers minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10. So first minus 3 is given so we have to move to the left 3 steps from 0, 1, 2, 3 steps so this, this is minus 3 then again we have to move 4 steps to the left of minus 3 so 1, 2, 3, 4 steps to the left of minus 3 this, so this is minus 4 then we are at minus 7 so then we can say that minus 3 plus of minus 4 equals to minus 7 and if the other question is if you want to add minus 2 plus of minus 3 so then from 0 we have to move 2 steps to the left so this is minus 2 and we have to move again three, again minus 3 is given there so we have to move again 3 steps 3 steps left to the minus 2 so then 1 2 3 so we reach at minus 5 so this is minus 5 so then here minus 2 plus of minus 3 equals to minus 5 so when two negative integers are added then we have to add the two negative integers on the number line by moving as many steps as the number given in the question and still we get the result also the negative integer means the sum of any two negative integers is a negative integer and the sum of two positive integers is always a positive integer the sum of two negative integers is always a negative integer if you like this video please give a thumbs up Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.